Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Yes, that's right, you've heard me. Another video, I'm back. If you're new, I'm Katie, and welcome to another bookish adventure. So today we are going to be talking my March wrap up and April TBR. So to begin with, I finished off my read from, it's really hard to believe it's March right now because I keep thinking I'm further along and I've read more than I have. But yeah, from February, that was Strange the Dream Month by Lani Taylor. So I literally finished this quite early on at the start of the month. I really didn't have that much left of it to go. It was so good. I don't know why I didn't read it sooner. I think just the sheer heft of it kind of put me off. Um, but I did listen to an audiobook and it was amazing. It was just so lyrical and magical although at times that could feel a little bit kind of like waffly and i think i did find my tension dropping slightly it'll be interesting when i reread this because i definitely want to because i enjoyed it so much the next time i want to read it more just to see kind of how that lyrical way of storytelling translate in comparison to an audiobook it was definitely definitely different to daughter of smoke and bone just the way the story was told it felt different i'm also aware that my ring light is making my eyebrows look crazy blocky i swear to god they do not look this like bam it's yeah ring light oh great thanks <laughs> sorry uh distractions it was just beautiful and going into it i was pretty blind to what it was about and i think that added to the magicalness because it wasn't at all what i thought it was going to be it was definitely more about these two characters um so i'm really excited to go on to the second one i still need to do a review on this i will do one at some point soon on my goodreads but yeah it was just such a beautiful book i just was an idiot for kind of being put off by the heft of it but yeah it was so good i think i gave it four and a half stars probably because it wasn't like crazy action-packed i guess like the, it didn't feel like there was a real real driving plot to it if that makes sense yes i think if i remember rightly yeah i gave it four stars probably because it was just lacking that kind of punch so next up is harley Manon and the secret coven by bella forest i actually finished this this morning whilst i was doing my makeup it was really good it's very much an easy read or listen in my case it's definitely not something that requires loads of brain power and it's not really convoluted even though so much is being brought to you especially in terms of world building for the magicals and kind of what their rules are so i am actually really impressed that i didn't feel at all overloaded especially considering you know i don't know how many books the author planned when she started this because there are 20 books like i said before but hers is books one to nine it is interesting i am looking forward to seeing how it develops because it definitely has promised to really turn into something really like meaty and you know my friend like she has read so many books it is ridiculous high press came for this series from her which doesn't come very easily it's not often that she'll recommend a book really i think she just devours them for the sake of she likes reading and that she's willing to sort of wade through all the crap see i am really interested to see where this story is going to take there is obviously the overarching plot which i don't really want to give away as to what that will probably be what carries us through for the next couple of books obviously comparisons will be made to harry potter but i think that is fair you know but yeah how they're handling it and i think i also really love the fact that she is older she's 16 or 18 so she has grown up with her ability she's had to learn how to live with these abilities she's had to learn how to try her best to control them and live as an empath so i think that coming into this she is her own person you know she has raised herself trying to keep it con under control trying to use her abilities as best as she can like i said she's working in a casino using her empath abilities to find people cheating so yeah going into it she's not all like willing to just skip off and join this coven she's actually quite like you know what i have my own life i have a job i have an apartment okay tell me why i should want to join you which i really like it wasn't just she was just willing to join it so she is on a trial basis with this coven and inevitably she's obviously going to discover stuff about herself as she's an orphan as she doesn't know where she came from i gave this book three and a half stars again it wasn't like stuff happened but i didn't find myself like <gasps> oh my god or like crying or like oh my god tension so it was an easy solid okay read it definitely has potential going forward next up kingdom of souls by rena barons this is very difficult for me right now it is thursday the 25th 8th 7th 25th so this is quite hard for me because i'm having to i'm having to film this on a thursday due to days and times and stuff in my life i'm having to pretty much film this and then edit on a tuesday so it's a whole chunk of time which is so annoying so by the time i edit i will have probably finished this book that is very annoying so so far this book is looking like a four star read i am really enjoying it the world building is amazing i just i love it the different gods and just everything they're bringing to it and the demons and it's 
just learning kind of not that everything that they've ever been told is a lie but you know built on certain lies and truth and yeah i am just really enjoying it and it has gone completely not where i thought it would go which is just great i had an idea of how i thought this would go and it hasn't and the exclamation of magic in this book is wonderful and how it like makes you feel because she doesn't have her own magic and so when she says you know it's it is a physical thing they can see it at night and you know she can feel it when other people's magic touches her and it's so cool just having that sort of description this book is brilliant i am really hoping that the end is just going to ramp up just that little bit more i have no idea how this is going to end and where it can go for the next book but yeah this is brilliant it's, yeah right now predicting four stars hi guys so just quickly hopping on so i actually finished kingdom of souls today on my lunch break i finally managed to do it it was so close to the wire on my lunch break i had like five pages left and i had to make the choice between going to the toilet and finishing the book and i obviously finished the book uh definitely definitely keeping the four star read i'm so excited to see where this next book is gonna go it has been set up really well yeah it's really good this whole other storyline has now been set up within this one i really enjoyed it it was just so good and the world building and with all the rishas like the gods and just all of it and not everything you know that they've been told and taught about the rishas is true and which is obviously true i think with anything that involved gods and legends along the way things kind of get muddy changed yeah i just so enjoyed it and it's taken me kind of to the end to realize how much i enjoyed it i think i just wasn't really in a really good reading frame of mind i think when i started this it felt like it was taking me actually quite a long time to really get anywhere with this book which was just due because that was just my own fault and that actually didn't have anything to do with the book because stuff was always constantly happening so yeah i just think i was a bit of an idiot really <laughs> in terms of that so i'm so happy i finished it but yeah so good so going on and looking ahead at my april read we have the wrath and the dawn by renee Aye. i'm very excited to read this last year i read her um flame in the mist trilogy and really enjoyed it which was kind of like a moon and slightly retelling i don't know why i ended up picking that one up first instead of this because i feel like this one's been on my list for longer don't know how that happened maybe i had that one before i had this yeah, so this one is about a place where there is basically like a prince and every night he like takes a new woman and then he i don't think he marries her but he kills her either way and he just takes one night after night and then our main girl in this her best friend gets taken and she decides to vow revenge and she, she goes to his palace and then she just uses stories as a way of keeping herself alive well i i know this is an enemy to lovers book so I'm all about that because who doesn't love an enemy to love us? I'm intrigued to see where this go. I like to try and stay away from as many spoilers as I can. So that is the general gist of this. I do have high expectations for this book though. And then my second main read of the month, Troy by Stephen Fry. So this will also be my audiobook because who doesn't want to listen to Stephen Fry on a daily basis? I love his mythology series. It is just wonderful. I love Greek gods. So it is like my inner younger child is happy to get some more Greek stuff in me. That sounds strange change and so i know bits about troy not masses i watched the bbc adaptation and that definitely opened my eyes to a lot more i never realized how involved the gods were so this is why i'm really looking forward to reading this i just i'm so excited this is like I don't read really pre-order books anymore and last year I heard this was coming out and I never slapped that pre-order button so fast. His first two books, Heroes and uh, Mythos, just filled me with such joy. He somehow manages to infuse his writing with just British quirky humour and it is brilliant. And I think listening to an audiobook really translates that because he gives the characters silly voices. They might be Northern, Scottish, Irish. And I think, you know, someone, if you're going into this, of a pompous nature and a very uh, straightforward mind you probably wouldn't enjoy that whereas to me i think it just adds to the british humor he is just taking these well-known and loved stories and characters and bringing it in a way that is accessible for your average joe like me but also adding his spin on it he's just making it just that little bit quirky and i think the audiobook just has that you still get it in the written way because i read the mythos before i got uh, audible so i definitely picked up on it but not as much as when i listened to it so i probably will listen to it more than i will read if i can i will try and read bits but i do just enjoy listening to him i'm not gonna lie so that is it for this week's video i'm doing my best to try and keep it as short as i can 
I know I have a tendency to waffle. So let me know in the comments what you think of my reads. Have you read any of these? Are there any of these on your TBR? Have I convinced you to add someone to your TBR? And of course, let me know what you read in March and what you're planning to read for April. If you enjoyed this video and you feel like smashing that like button, then go ahead. And if you want to subscribe, then do that too. I will see you next week, possibly for a reading vlog, maybe for a book review. Who knows? We're just going to roll with it.